Welcome back to Expresso on SABC3, your feel-good breakfast show indeed. Now, prior to its destruction, the Sapphire town of the 50s was a cultural hub of art, music and fashion, which is celebrated in our national memory to this very day. Here to tell us more about the style that was synonymous with this iconic era is our fashion director, Alexa Chaffe, and artistic director for Quella Bafana, Phyllis Lotz. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Oh, thank Welcome you. Welcome to Expresso, Phyllis. Good to thank have you here. You. And thanks for inviting me. <laughs> so I'm very excited about our, our clothing that we're wearing on the show. Of course, all of the presenters can be seen wearing it. But let's first talk about um, the artistic direction that you used for Quella Bafana. I'm sure that you had to really, really research um, the Sophia Town era in some detail to make sure that you got the look right. Take us through the clothing, the choice of clothing for the residents of the 1950s in Sophia Town. Well, fortunately, we have a lot of documentation. We have marvelous photographs by Jürgen Schagberger and other marvelous photo photographers of the mm. era. So there's a, a wealth of resource material to yes. look at. And the photographs are beautiful mm. and, uh, you know, the guys are all dressed up. They look like kind of out of Harlem with their yes. big hats yes. and, and in uh, Cadillacs, open, mm. open vehicles. And of course there's that iconic photograph of Miriam Makeba yeah. in a beautiful tight dress. Something Something's not too far from what yeah. you're wearing now. <laughs> and Dolly Ratebe, marvelous photographs of them performing. And I was lucky enough to see some of these performers when I was a child. And they came to Cape Town with African Jazz and Follies. And not too far away from here, up the road at the Weizmann Hall, we used to go and see them every summer. So I was fortunate to see some of the greats. Wonderful stuff. Well, there certainly is such an amazing vibe in studio. And I think it has a lot to do with the kind of music that we're listening to and even the kind of clothes that we're wearing. That said, Alexis, how significant is the clothing of that era still today in the fashion that we have? I think it's the start of the 50s. You see it, you know, there's a lot of like hipster cultures all over the world that have adapted to various styles of the 50s. You know, you see it in the, the muscle car devotees in America. They yeah, also have yeah. the pinup girls, which are a very 50s look, which they try and emulate. And we see it in, in Johannesburg still. There's like your classes of fashionistas that, you know, will embody this very 50s, very vibrant style of Sophia Town, yeah. which is just beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So, like I said, we have been dressed in the whole Sophia Town era, the 50s, and all of our presenters, as well as the, um, you know, the cost of Quella Bafana, they're wearing it as well. Let's take a look at our first model this morning. You may know him as Katlejo Mabwe, and he's looking absolutely dashing this morning. Phyllis, what are some of the key pieces um, reminiscent of that era that Kat is wearing right now? Well, certainly <laughs> the jacket. Jersey. Yes, the jersey, yeah. Yes, and the bow tie. Uh, perhaps he could have had a few pleats okay. in his pants in front. Because <laughs> they're a little there tight. And of yes. course, the shoes, the two toes. Definitely, shoes. definitely. Definitely. Well, yes. thank you so much to our first model, Katlejo, looking very, very nice. Let's look at Tlohi coming up next, looking beautiful in this stunning dress. Well, this dress is actually made in uh, 2013 wow. and it looks very much like the period uh, it was from salvation in johannesburg yes and uh, you can see the bow mm. and around the waist especially the print yes. the white background Beautiful. with the flower is very reminiscent of the time lovely thank you so much Tlohi. let's look at our next model velepi looking absolutely stunning. I am very, very keen to find out about this dress. Well, this is an original. This is a is 50s it? original. Look at the beadwork wow. and the whole cut of it, the cross wow. at the back. So this is the real thing. This is absolutely incredible. I see we're still holding to a lot of these trends today as well, hey? Except these dresses from the 50s, I mean, this, this is beading from the 50s that has lasted. Beautiful. It's incredible. It has stood the test of time. <laughs> yes, the Thank quality you. of these garments. Thank you, Vilepi, looking absolutely stunning. We must not forget about the man himself, Graham. He's loving this. <laughs> <laughs> the pants might be a bit too tight as well, yeah. hey? No, no, no. Oh, the, no, the pants are really right. Just woo, woo. The fabric is different to Shoot. what we used to have in the 50s. But the pants, the tight, tight pants. It was definitely nice. a, a snug look. And you've yes. got the braces that are keeping the right up there. And you know, you speak about fabric. You know, fabrics have changed so much now. Now we have, you know, lycra blends and things yeah. like fabrics which make them tighter. Yes. You know, in the 50s, that they really just had to fit where they were put yeah. and the braces made sure that everything was yes. kept in place. 
<laughs> very, very nice. Now, Alexis, thank you so much, Graham. We'd love you to stay here longer, but alas, we must get down to business. How do we put a modern twist on these looks? Well, you know, as you know, the brogues, the two-tone shoes that the guys are wearing, those have come back into fashion and they do not just don't seem to be going anywhere at the yes. moment. That's a very easy way that you can just go out and buy and that's instant 50s look. Yes. The other one is for the guys, you know, the pants were snug. Yes. You know, you're talking about button-up shirts, um, the argyle print um, like Kat was wearing, yeah. you know, the, your big diamond check. That is like still available today by some iconic brands yes. and it is quintessentially the look. Absolutely. And of course for the ladies, you know, it's all about, the 50s was all about that hourglass mm. shape. Should I get up? Get up, do turn! Quite forget about me <laughs> with my hourglass shape up in here. Okay. So here you have it. So it's small on the waist and it's flared over the hips. And the 50s, you know, it was, you know, kind of always a sleeveless kind of shape. And if you wanted to add something for warmth, you'd rather put a jacket over that. Yeah, absolutely. I love this. Can I keep it? Yes? Uh, maybe. No? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> They're still deciding. Well, this has been absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for enlightening us. I think what's so nice is that, you know, uh, uh, fashion is always reinventing itself. And the things that we wore back in the 50s, I like that it's making a comeback and we can kind of add a modern twist mm. to it. Hey. Very, very nice. Thank you, Phyllis, for Thank being you. here with us. Thanks very uh, are you, much. Have you enjoyed yourself at Expresso this morning? Yes, I have. <laughs> I've had a hot time at Expresso. That's what we like. That's what we like. And, of course, thank you to our beautiful Alexis for joining us as Always well in our fashion here. segment. Well, it is time for us to head back to another incredible performance. You saw the models, some of the looks. We're heading downstairs to the beautiful voices of Quella Bafana.